he he's just sending them out too a little too far and not not microing them as well as he should. And I think that's the difference between Infi, who's not a regular undead player, and someone who is, is that a normal undead player would not have lost those two crypt fiends, and those you know those could be huge. There's a coil saving that crypt fiend. Meanwhile, this destroyer in a little bit of trouble de devours some water elementals, but with those uh, level two water elementals dealing the damage, it's it's a little difficult to keep the destroyers alive. You do have to spend some coils on them from time to time, even though they're supposed to be quite powerful and uh, difficult to kill. This destroyer is actually in, in quite a bit of trouble. It devours that water elemental, so stays alive. One, only 130 health left. Um, yeah, destroyers are really annoying because they're so hard to kill. You can't cast spells on them. And they have pretty decent armor, three base armor. Um, and plus they have lots of hit points. And the devourer is just just means that they have even more hit points because they get healing from devouring buffs and summon creatures. Anyway, the problem with destroyers, I would say, is that they, you know, without the orb, they don't actually deal that much damage, especially to heroes. And, we, th th I mean, I can't remember exactly who the game was between, but I've seen who the games were between, actually, because I've seen lots of them where, you know, the undead will mass up five or six destroyers against a human or a night elf, and the the opponent will just unconcernedly go on, you know, putting up an expo right under the destroyers, knowing that they're that they can't really go in without getting killed and that and that they just don't do enough damage to the heroes and other vulnerable units to really be a threat. I mean, y you occasionally have to heal them. And if you have, you know, if you have a paladin there with holy light, it's just not a threat. And so I mean, that's the weakness of destroyers. The the good thing about them is they stop buffs and here sky sending some sappers being a little cheeky there. Infi has scouted this, so he will probably be able to stop them. He's got the destroyer right there. Actually, Infi has not spotted this. He's, his, his destroyer, he wasn't microing his destroyer, and so he's got to spot it now. I, the sapper's coming in. Uh, yeah, he's bringing out acolytes, actually, to try and kill the sappers. Here's the other one. Let's see if Infi is able to stop this one. The, uh, no, actually, Infi not able to stop that one. He loses his ziggurat, but everything else is, is going to be okay. He's only lost one building. Not too bad. Um... And now, meanwhile, Sky's Archmage is taking quite a bit of damage, and it looks like he might take down that destroyer. No, destroyer just getting out in time. And meanwhile, Infi's harass continues on Sky's base. He's, looks like he's going to be able to take down this arcane tower. Um, yeah, manages to take down the arcane tower. Now he could get quite a few peasant kills if he wants. Instead, going for the farm, which is a strange choice. I guess he's not microing there. He's microing away from his base, trying to save his acolytes. Uh, yeah, and doing a good job of it. Now that destroyer coming back and may get taken out here. No, devouring the water elemental, and it'll be fine. So, Infi defending pretty well. I don't think he's lost an acolyte. No, he's lost. he may have lost one acolyte there. Um, now losing another. So, yeah, lost two acolytes in that harass, but not bad. He, he killed some units, and so it probably pays off for him. Now Infi working again at the bottom and trying to harass this guy's base. Sky keeping his towers up, so <coughs> Infi's harass is not going to be too successful. He could attack the town hall if he wants from the vantage point of those obsidian statues, but that would, I mean, that would not be terribly effective. The peasants would just repair it. Gonna kill some peasants, just try and get as much kill, many kills as he can on this well-defended base. Now, it, Sky, with his Mountain King, just recently produced, manages to bolt that fiend. So that means Sky's at Tier 2, and I missed it. Uh, has He has his Arcane Sanctums up. Okay, so... Sky with the Arcane Sanctums up, and... And... So Infi's tech advantage is evaporating. He's... I mean, he for a while he had destroyers against Tier 1 to... If you're going to lose another Acolyte there. Mountain King taking quite a lot of damage, though. and It's going to get out okay. Uh, yeah, it's going to be out fine, but just irritating to lose that. And continuing harass by Sky, chasing the Acko around. And now, looks like Infi working on the towers manages to take one down. He's got that Obsidian Statue there, so healing is cheap. Um, going to take down another tower. There's just not enough peasants in the area to repair it f fast enough. And, yeah, another tower goes up, but this one's going to go down. Now the peasant's getting killed by the Lich, Lich Nova and Focus Fire. Now F Sky finally bringing in a, a, an army with some Tier 2 units, a Spellbreaker, so that'll that'll prevent protect him a little bit from the Destroyer. Losing a Footman, though. Uh, he probably doesn't care about that. Just every every Footman lost is free experience, and now the Water Elemental getting devoured. So another loss. Um, and this tower looks like it'll go down, too. Another Skeleton from the Peasant Kill. And so Sky actually running out of towers. And he's put a lot of energy, a lot of energy, and a lot of money into this. I mean, 
he spent a lot of time trying to get these towers up and microing his peasants, and it may have cost his harass a little. That may be why he was not, not able to get as many acolyte kills as he would otherwise. Ring of regen there, not too useful. With you have priests, at least. And now, looks like another de destroyer shows up again for the harass. This guy losing a lot of peasants. Um, and strangely, Infi backing off. I'm not sure what he's doing there. I guess he just pulled his units away. I'm not sure why he did that. He should go for those peasants. There are a lot of peasants, and there's now some militia, but they're going to time out soon. Meanwhile, Sky just creeping and not really concerned about this. He knows that Infi is not going to be able to do damage fast enough. He's got a level 2 masonry town hall, so, you know, nothing nothing Infi can do can really threaten it unless he has siege weapons. Uh, on, the, on the other hand, those towers, I mean, level 2 masonry towers are tough, but they'll be damaged heavily by destroyers. Sky now TPing in. And so, Infi is going to be chased away. Yeah, running away immediately, good choice. Not even stopping to kill the creeps. Um, and so Sky keeps his expansion, which was not really in doubt he could have TP'd at any time, but I'm a little surprised that he had to use a TP there to, to do that. I think he would have been better just walking in, but perhaps he was hoping to catch Infi off guard and not microing at his, at his, at his attack, rather, doing something in his base. Um, and then he probably would have gotten couple hero kills and it would have been a good game. So, Infi now creeping, trying to make up for lost time. He spent too long there. I mean, I think he should have gone for the peasants when he had the opportunity. He could have gotten a lot of peasant kills, some ex free experience, and, and penalized Sky. Meanwhile, Sky creeping at the bottom of the map. And so it looks like both players settling in for a long-term game. I'm still, I'm surprised that at this point, with, when Infi had Sky kind of when Infi knew that Sky was harassing his base and trying to protect his own base, I think he could have expanded there. I mean, he would have obviously he would have had to have an acolyte outside of his base earlier, or Sky would have been entirely aware of it when he tried to run an acolyte away. But I think expanding would have been a good move for Infi, and he still has an opportunity to do it if he wants to. Now with I, okay, so force of just three fiends and two destroyers, one statue and some s skeletons. Now coming down to this expansion, he's probably going to have to retreat because Sky has a much larger force. Um, Sky's at 66 food, and, uh, Infi's only at 48, so, yes, yeah, Infi's gonna have to retreat here. Actually, this is very poor by Infi, and he's getting his, his units all separated now, taking a lot of damage on his Death Knight, and he may have to TP out at this point, because if that Mountain King bolts his Death Knight again, yeah, another bolt goes off, and he's gonna take a lot of damage on that Death Knight. Uh, actually managing to escape, and he's, he transferred an Invuld Pot there, so he'll, he won't have to TP out, but... Still, getting his Death Knight damage not a not a good not good play. You don't want to get your Death Knight damage like that. Infi now losing some fiends, and so yeah, man it has Burrow now, so he's he's going to be able to save a few of them, unless unless uh, Sky has dust. I don't think he does. Now going for the Lich, uh, gets his Mountain King nuked, so he's going to have to back off at this point. Uh, th even though there are two low heroes there, just putting a little damage on the Dark Ranger also. It's not going to be too concerning to Infi. Now with his, looks like he saved uh, maybe a couple crypt fiends by brewing. Now having to TP out, he got he got caught somehow, and so yeah. Infi TPs out, and this could leave Sky with quite an advantage in my opinion. He's got his expo up, and it's not it is no longer in danger of going down. He probably has is he taking to tier three? Yeah, he's taking to tier three now. So he's got his expo up, and it's not going to go down. He's putting up a Griff Navy right now, so he's going to be he's going to have tech parity and as soon as he hits tier 3. Meanwhile, Infi is now at 59 food, so in low upkeep, and he has no expo, so he can't sustain this for too long, and only 1,000 gold left in his gold mine. He looks like he's planning to expand right now. So, yeah, Infi creeping is his natural expansion. Um, so, th this will give him enough gold. It's not so much an expansion as a, as a new first base, because it's, he's going to get it up only when his gold mine runs out. And an acolyte coming now. Um, Sky, meanwhile, creeping all over the map. He's got a level four mountain king and probably level five archmage. Yeah, level five archmage. So, so Sky with the, I think he's, this can, this could be counted as a hero level advantage for Sky. I mean, we have uh, three through three on Infi's side, but a level five archmage is very influential in that. Now the Death Knight level four, level a level five mountain king, which. Infi is going to get in no time at all, is going to be very, 
Very important. That bolt 